All right, I'm cruising some cool ancient Anasazi hangouts here outside of Cortez, Colorado. I've just found a secret passage. Once again, I'm back here in a place where it's kind of like that movie, which I've not seen about the kid that got his hand stuck. No one would ever find us back here for a while if I got my hand stuck or something. See where fires have been built under there for, you know, possibly millennia. I think there was a dwelling under here until it broke off. Big chunk broke off, crushed the. If there was a Pueblo under here, there's a tower structure here overlooking the entrance to this little canyon. Sort of their lookout post, I imagine. Whew. It's wild out here. Sleeping Ute Mountain there in the background. The smell of juniper and sage all around. And lots of undercut rocks where people have been living under there for th thousands of years and thousands of years ago. Regular town in here. Ruins everywhere. This is the cutthroat ruins, they're called, of the Hoven Wheat group. We are way out in the middle of nowhere. No one comes back to these, I don't think. Pretty rare to see these. I mean, we are way out here down a really rough road. There's not another structure of any kind in sight that is, that's less than a thousand years old, except for the outhouse. Exactly what I needed. What an amazing find out here, and a very clean and and uh, sweet smelling one too. Roughly a thousand years old, we think. Ruins down there, out here in the middle of just nowhere desert, west of Cortez, slightly inside of Utah. And there you can see Sleeping Ute Mountain there in the background. Well, I can hear the sound of a jet, but other than that, there's no sign of civilization in any direction. As the sun sets behind the outhouse, you can see then that we're directly west of Sleeping Ute Mountain. And I know that just north of that is Cortez. And so if I were lost out here, I could just head that direction. Sure would take a while though, days I imagine to get over there. A little past sunset. Not sure if you can see me. We're at the spooky Indian ruins in the middle of nowhere. We sure get out on the rough roads, I tell ya. Slightly rough. It's not like four wheel drive's not necessary, just some high clearance to come back here and see the cutthroat group of Hoven Wheat. And also, just down the road, just a short distance, is the uh, Canyon of the Ancients. Uh, 
hand painted hand tower group. Look at this one. Spilled right into that boulder. Well, I'm down here where I'm really not supposed to be. Holly Group ruins. That tower is amazing, perched on top of that boulder. And so how could they live out here? Well, there's a little spring down in there. I heard Huck splashing around in there and he came out all wet. So as evidenced by those big trees, there's water down there. So that's perfect. Look at that construction. Did each group have their own architect? Or was there like a traveling architect that taught them how to build these things perched like that? Surely that wasn't common knowledge. Trail marked by little rock piles or cairns. There's another tower over there. Not quite the same as Chuckalisa, huh? Look out there. Kind of oval shaped building here. Excellently constructed, still standing here after a thousand years. Clearly for ceremonial use, the circle or kiva, a sort of church, if you will. All right, I'm here praying inside an ancient Native American kiva, which was actually designed for prayer, singing, community. When the men would gather together, not unlike the Jews in the temple or the Romans at the bath. Something that's sadly lacking in our present day culture. Quite a spot. See there was a kiva right there. Some kind of circle. I'm just on the southwest side of Sleeping Ute Mountain now. On a bike trail out through some ruins, Sand Canyon. Pretty grueling going for a lowlander like me on the bicycle. I'm just making about walking speed, really. Whew. Now both Huck and I are panting in the background. There's another thousand year old home. Of course the real estate is just not what it used to be. Whew. Scary drop off here. Huck! Sand Canyon southwest of Sleeping Ute Mountain in Cortez, Colorado. Huck, come back this way! Look at this place, it's almost like a cathedral or something. Hello! You can't hear the echo over Huck's panting. It's awesome back here. Very populated little valley here, Sand Canyon, once upon a time. Quite a wilderness back here. Cool spot. Well, you can see the natural formation of the rocks almost looks like bricks or something and then the actual rock structures really blend right in. It's a wild looking formation right up there. It looks like a window in that rock or something. It's cool. It's intriguing. I'd love to go up there. Not today though. 
And there's that second ruins are just right down from there. It's funny, I never saw those when I was, until I went in there, now I can see them. That Huck finds water even way out here and gets right in it. <laughs> Good boy, Huck. Climb back up to the trail. part of the bike trail is a solid slab of rock. You know, I was gratified to discover on the way back that the reason I was so winded going up is that it's uphill the whole way. I've hardly, I've not even pedaled the whole way back. <laughs> All right, just about at the end of the trail. See the road down there. And back to Rico. Woo! We'll sleep well tonight. All right, well, farewell to the remote sites of Canyon of the Ancients at Hoven Weep. I didn't go to the main sites.